Wilhelmina pictured winning the Nottinghamshire Oaks on her return last year Martin Lynch by Tony McFadden updated 6.29 p.m., June 1, 2018 2.35 Epsom Princess Elizabeth Stakes, Group 3, 1 meter 1 half F3 Yo, ITV, Rec will Wilhelmina build on her promising reappearance. Wilhelmina finished runner-up to Breeders' Cup heroine Wu Haida on her reappearance in a Group 2 at Newmarket last month in a performance that it could be argued represented a career best effort, Wilhelmina, who is lightly raced for a five-year-old and could yet be open to further improvement, produced a similarly promising performance on her return last year, when winning the Nottinghamshire Oaks but she failed to really kick on and finished the campaign with a few below-par runs. Read how Wilhelmina chased home Wu Haida at Newmarket She has been giving Martin Mead the right sign since her return, however, and the trainer is expecting a bold show. He said, it was a great run on her comeback, it's just a shame they supplemented Wu Haida. I was delighted with her performance, which was probably a career best, and she has come on for the run. The ground should suit and this looks the ideal race for her, can Anna Niriam capitalize on this drop in class? Two of the last three editions of the Princess Elizabeth have been won by three-year-olds and the main contender for the classic generation is Anna Niriam, who won the listed European free handicap before finishing a creditable seventh in the 1,000 guineas. Watch Anna Niriam win the free handicap at Newmarket trainer Richard Hannon was not discouraged by Anna Niriam's performance in the Guineas, where she finished six lengths behind winning stablemate Bilston Brook. He said, I thought she ran well in the Guineas, so the trip should be fine, and she won't have a problem with the ground, Anna Niriam has already struck at Group 3 level but her task is made more difficult as a consequence, as she must shoulder a £3 penalty. What to make of the German Raider? Putting the form of Diaphora's three-quarter length listed success at Hanover into context is not easy, but the suspicion is that more will be required to make an impact here. However, the lightly raced filly carries plenty of confidence from trainer Marcus Klug, who is expecting her to hit the frame, and the booking of William Buick is a sign connections mean business. Klug said, we think she's probably a bit better on soft ground but conditions aren't so important for her. She won a listed race very well last time and she's improving. It looks like a difficult race but I hope she'll be placed at worst, what they say David O'Meara, trainer of Lincoln Rocks she's in great form and handles the ground, while the trip will be no problem. Roger Varian, trainer of Shenanigans Shenanigans has run two excellent races in defeat this season. I think the extended mile will really play to her strengths, the ground shouldn't be a problem and she has the best of the dry install one. David Simkic, trainer of Soul Silver is in full and will soon be off to the paddocks. She's a lovely filly but we're under no illusions as this is a tough task. Hugo Palmer, trainer of stage name this is a huge step up in class but she won her novice well and we're looking for black type. Soft ground is a bit of an unknown but her sire famous name won plenty of races on testing ground, while she's a strong traveling filly so I don't expect the track to be an issue. Anna Niriam looks to have the most obvious claims, Guinea's form tends to stand up well. Richard Fahey, trainer of Dance Divi thought she ran well at York and the cut in the ground will help. If she handles the track she should give a good account. Read exclusive previews from 6pm daily on RacingPost.com.